So what's up guys, and whilst we're mere months away from Samsung releasing their next flagship device in the Galaxy S series, Apple has only just recently released their latest offering to the smartphone world, the iPhone 6S. Being two of the absolute top of the line smartphones you can currently buy, let's have a look at the differences between the two and discuss why you might want to buy one over the other. So first up, the design. Whilst Apple has long dominated the smartphone world in terms of design, Samsung completely upped their game with their S6 models, ditching that cheap looking plastic and replacing it with an all glass back and front with chamfered metal edges. The S6's new design is incredibly beautiful and easily places it into that top range of smartphones in terms of design. Both phones are on the slippery side and in fact the S6 and 6S are very similar phones in terms of button and port placements, but in terms of which one I prefer, well, I actually prefer the solid build and size as well as the feel in the hand of the Samsung Galaxy S6 over the thin profile and slightly smaller bodied iPhone 6S, but in terms of which phone is more attractive, I don't think you can ever beat the iPhone 6S, so one point to each. Moving on now to the display on these phones, and whilst the iPhone 6S does have an epic screen with 1334 by 750 pixels on an LED backlit IPS display, the S6 has a Quad HD Super AMOLED display and is probably the best screen in my opinion on any smartphone today. Viewing angles are far supreme to the iPhone 6S and the max and minimum brightness levels knock the iPhone 6S out of the park. One point to Samsung. And if we look behind these displays, we'll see the specs of the phones. Now, on paper, the Samsung Galaxy looks to have this one in the bag with the Exynos 7420 chipset, a quad-core CPU with three gigabytes of RAM, versus the iPhone 6S's Apple A9 chipset with a dual-core CPU and only two gigabytes of RAM. In terms of real-life performance though, these phones are both buttery smooth. You'd find it hard to really compare the performance between these two phones, but personally, I think you will find yourself having a smoother experience on the iPhone 6S purely because of iOS. One point to Apple. And speaking of iOS, let's compare the UI of each phone. The iPhone 6S has iOS 9 out of the box, whilst the S6 has Android Lollipop. Now, if Samsung had stock Android running on the S6, then this category would be hard to find a winner. But of course, Samsung don't. They whack their own skin over the top, the ever famous TouchWiz. Now, with Android, there are plenty of customizations you can put on your S6 to minimize the effect of TouchWiz, but comparing these phones out of the box, the iOS 9 experience is just so much more interactive and easy to use, and it just looks a whole lot nicer to the eye. So another point to Apple. And then we come to battery life. Both of these phones' biggest drawbacks are probably their batteries, and again on paper, Samsung seems to have this one in the bag with the S6 housing a 2550 mAh battery, compared to the 1715 mAh battery on the iPhone 6S. But with that Quad HD display and Samsung's touch with skin over the top of Android, the competition becomes a little closer. In saying that, out of the box, Apple has a bunch of settings automatically enabled, such as Wi-Fi Assist, Background App Refresh, as well as plenty more that make its battery abysmal. With all of these settings turned off, you're at a better chance of lasting the entire day with light use, but given that we're comparing these phones right out of the box, the S6 definitely takes the cake in this category. I've never really had an issue lasting the day with the S6, whereas I never made it to 5pm without needing to charge the iPhone 6S, so one point to Samsung. Let's stay on hardware for a moment and talk about the fingerprint sensors on each of these devices. Whilst the S6 definitely received a massive upgrade with its fingerprint sensor from the S5, meaning you no longer have to do that swipey thing to get a read, the upgrade that the iPhone 6S got to the Touch ID was massive. It is borderline flawless to use and it's so fast at reading your finger that waking up your phone using the home button will unlock your device so quick that you barely get a chance to read the clock. For me, I tend to turn off the fingerprint sensor on the S6 after a little while because it just struggles that little bit to read my finger, whereas I use the Touch ID on the iPhone 6S every day. So no contest in this category, one point to Apple. And so then we move to cameras, and in these two phones, we probably have the two top contenders across all smartphones. The 6S rocks a 12 megapixel rear-facing camera with 4K video recording and slow-mo video at up to 240 frames per second when recording at 720p. Meanwhile, the S6 has a 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, and it also has 4K video recording, but the only option for slow-mo is 120 frames per second when recording at 720p. In terms of image quality, I personally prefer the crispy, well-saturated photos on the S6 compared to the photos on the 6S, which to me seem a bit flat and less sharp, but they are really accurate to real life. Low light performance would probably also go to the S6 because of its OIS, which allows for a slower shutter speed to allow more light in without the photos becoming blurry. 
In terms of taking a photo though, the speed at which you can take a photo on the S6 with that double tap to open the camera shortcut is a massive winner in my books. I also prefer the camera app on the S6 given all the settings are changeable within the app and because I want a bit more control over my photos, particularly with focus and ISO. And the autofocus on the S6 is blazing fast, but the camera app on the iPhone 6S has always been the best in terms of pure simplicity. Moving on to video, and like I said earlier, both of these phones offer 4K video recording and both offer super crispy image quality, which makes it really hard to pick a winner. But given the optical image stabilization on the S6 versus the post-processing stabilization on the iPhone 6S, I'd probably have to pick Samsung as the winner here. But in terms of slow-mo, the 6S absolutely knocks the S6 out of the park with its 240 frames per second video when recording at 720p. In reality, the slow-mo on the S6 is hardly even usable and so there's no contest here. This is probably one of the hardest categories to pick a winner in overall, but in my subjective opinion, given my preference of its photos and optical image stabilization, the winner is the Galaxy S6. One point to Samsung. Quickly moving to audio quality on each of these phones, both devices have speakers on the bottom of their phones in pretty much the exact same location, so in terms of watching videos and playing games, both of these phones have near identical levels of audio quality. But when I compare the audio quality for phone calls, and I'm talking about both the main speakers at the bottom and the ear speakers, the Samsung generally has more clarity and louder volume. So based on that, another point to Samsung. Now let's talk about additional extras. It's pretty simple when it comes to the iPhone with the new technology built into the display that Apple calls 3D Touch, which allows different actions and shortcuts depending on how much pressure you apply to the screen. You also get the oft forgotten feature called reachability, which makes your phone much more one-handed friendly with a simple double tap on the home button. On the S6, however, we've got both wireless and fast charging as well as NFC. In terms of real life practical use though, fast charging and NFC are more valuable at this point than 3D Touch and reachability, so another point to Samsung. And finally, let's talk about price. Now, you can get these for a fair bit cheaper if you have a bit of a look around online, but if you go direct to the source for the base models, you're looking at around $600 US or $800 Australian for the S6 and around $649 US or a whopping $1,079 Australian for the iPhone 6S. So obviously the iPhone 6S is more expensive, but in saying that, the Galaxy S6 was released around five months prior to the iPhone 6S. So of course prices have dropped since then. But what this does say is that both of these phones are in the top tier in terms of prices for smartphones. So neither company receives a point in this category. So after all that, my calculations have it that Samsung have surprisingly defeated Apple six to four. But a whole heap of these categories could have gone either way. And at the end of the day, it was just me picking a favorite because I kind of had to. Ask someone else and they might have had Apple beating Samsung six to four. But basically my point is, both of these phones are proper top of the line and I can assure you that you're not gonna be disappointed with purchasing either of these devices. I think the real battle is iOS versus Android and maybe that's a whole nother topic for another video. But at the end of the day, it's just which one do you prefer? That's the real swaying point. Um, each feature of these phones kind of stands on equal playing ground and where one might kind of lack in one area, it overtakes in another area. So the real question you've got to ask yourself if you're deciding between these two phones is, do I prefer iOS or do I prefer Android? And if that still doesn't help you decide, then just go with the cheaper option, which is the Samsung. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave what your winner is in the comments below and why. But as always, I'll see you in the next video.